Finally. Mm. Finally. Finally. Welcome to another episode of Neon Radio. I'm Reese. I am Dan. He's Dan. And this week we're doing WandaVision Episode 7. Monica plots her return to Westview. Wanda navigates unsettling complications with changes in the hex and Vision forms a new alliance. Are we going to do a spoiler alert for this one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There's a lot going on, and I don't think you can talk about this episode without spoiling That's it. Right. So, that is a warning for you. If you haven't seen the show, don't listen to what we're going to say. <laughs> well, go watch the show and then come back and That's listen right. to what yeah. we're going to say. Yeah, it's better. Also, um, Dan isn't stoned. Dan is just super tired. I just saw your eyes. They're so red. Yeah, they're red, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I was like, oh my God. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Tired. Yeah. You need sleep. Yeah. I, shot, I shot three weddings in a row. So yeah, it's, it's a big big yeah, week. Pretty tired. All right. So, uh, my way for you, my eyes should turn blue like Monica. I know. Yeah, exactly. How was that segue? Was that good? That was awesome. Yeah, Thank there you. we go. Photon. <laughs> Photon has uh, entered the picture here. Yes. Monica Rambeau gaining her powers from the hex. Mm. And it looked um, boss. It looks so cool. The, all of her, like, different parts of her, like, existence yep. in different multi-dimensions mm. and or past and present mm. coming together yeah. to she, become yeah, When she was Photon. crossing the hex. So cool. Yeah, she's and like, she like activated beast mode. Because supposedly she's, she has uh, several different names as a mm. character. Yeah, so it's not sense. only Photon. She has been Captain Marvel before. Oh, wow. Which I don't think we talked about. But yeah. Yeah, so she was like a white suit Captain Marvel. It was really cool. Oh, right. But yeah. in this one, she's Photon. Mm. You can just see it. It's cool. Um, and then, like, uh, I mean, if you think about it, this show so far has had such great acting. Yes. With has. so much cool mystery. Yeah. My uh, my best actor, Nom, yeah. goes to Vision. Vision? I like Vision, man. When he's on screen, I just smile. I smile all the time when I really? see him there. Especially like when he does all the comedic stuff. Yeah, this week's... He's awesome. This week's episode yeah. for comedy was, was so good when yeah. it came to... It's good. Um, just vision. a little chuckle. Yeah. It, I was saying it felt like uh, his breaking the fourth wall scene, similar to like, mm. you know, we had... Because uh, it was like a sitcom from like the 2000s. Yeah. We had Modern Family, uh, The Office, Office, Happy Endings. Yep. Um we had even more than that. I can't remember them. There's so many. Yeah, you got Parks and Rec um, and all those. Parks well. and Rec. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So we had those type of shows coming and bleeding through into the yeah. into like the, the idea of it, mm. and it felt like Vision was being Paul Bettany behind the scenes. It didn't yeah. feel like Vision. It felt like almost like he's in his actor's chair yeah, and they're man. filming him from the actor's yeah, chair. Yeah, and it's like he was, I'm sure he was cross-legged. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought he was just so laid back, just chilling out. You could just, just see him with like a pina colada or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so good, man. Yeah. And I mean, the actors in this are getting... I mean, they've been good for the whole thing. And yeah. I don't think we've had any praise for that. No. They've been fantastic. Mm. Elizabeth Olsen. Um, Except for the scientist girl. Paul Bettany. Oh. <laughs> she just Kat kills Dennings the isn't bad. She's good. <laughs> I like her as this character. Oh, God. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> we got, we've got Kat Dennings, but fair enough. Yeah. Uh, and then um, we've got... Um, uh, just all, all, pretty much the whole yeah. cast all together. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Catherine Hahn, mm. all of them have been the kid, great. The two kids are great too. The kids are great, yeah. Mm. Uh, this episode I noticed they're like how their facial expressions are going. Like it's almost like they've gotten better. Yeah, that's so, true. Mm. Um, I think good. it's been uh, fantastic for the acting wise. Yeah. Um, but uh, finally, mm. finally, finally. Is it we a- get some answers. Is it a big finally or just a small one? It's a huge finally because we've been waiting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've we've been, been waiting. Yeah, I've been saying on a podcast, there's, well, we've sort of, uh, uh, what's the word, summarized it. There's a lot of padding in this show. There is a lot. Um, you know, they're giving they're giving good info and stuff like that, which is which is cool. But, man, I just want to get to the point. The, the I'm, nice I'm thing getting is, over the sitcom stuff. The nice thing is, is most of the padding mm. uh, has something of substance in it. So there'll be a little mystery or a little something in the background. Uh, this episode had a bit of padding with the whole uh, vision can't get to yeah to one. Yeah, I just found it frustrating. Um, you could just easily just you know even fly there and talk. The impeding of the impeding of a journey is always frustrating. Yeah. So and that was definitely what we had here. Mm, yeah. Um. But you know, finally we got answers with Agatha. 
That's right. We now have Agnes's Agatha Hark- mm. Harkness and a witch. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she is known to be uh, a part of this illusion that's been created. Yeah. And Wanda uh, creates these children. Mm. And then we Through, find out that yeah. these children are actually a part of Mephisto's soul. Right. Yeah. And Agatha has a, a role in that. Mm. So, yeah. I so mean... We, yeah, every- we don't know if she's the villain yeah. yet. But everything's leading towards Mephisto still. Yeah. Still leading towards the devil. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. so, and it's... I mean, to this week, talking on, about it on the podcast, we were like, why not do it? Like, it's, it's hit a point where yeah. everyone's keen to see it, mm. so... Well, we've seen the multi... Well, I believe it's the multi-dimensions as um, Monica's going through. Yeah. All those, you know, beings coming into one. Yeah. Um, it's it's just going to tie in well. The they bring that in. about the Nexus? Yeah, the, yeah that. We've got... Um, it'll tie perfectly well with Doctor Strange. And then all of the things that they have coming out, Blade coming out, any of the X-Men. Yeah. Like, all of those things have mm. a big... Big portion, Nightcrawler. They yeah. all have a like a, a portion mm. to do with Mephisto's dimension. Yeah. So we should say something about the um, end credit scene too. Yeah. Because there was another little stinger there. Because we don't know if uh, pretty much what's his name. If Quicksilver. Yeah, Quicksilver is a goodie. Or bad? Yeah. Yeah. Peter Pit- Evans. Pit- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was good to see that as well. Yeah, we because we know that uh, Agnes has either a brought him mm. into this dimension or b created an illusion of him yeah but we don't know which one Mm. it is yeah and we have this moment at the end where we're like is monica in trouble or is she going to be helped Mm. so it it could go either way really yeah um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna this is my prediction yeah i don't know if it's gonna happen but obviously it's a prediction i reckon the two kids yeah they're gonna be evil well brought up to be evil yeah and vision Will be actually. I wonder. Will be the uh, the the strawberry in the sandwich between Vision and strawberry. her kids. Strawberry. Yeah, strawberry sandwich. Who has a strawberry sandwich? Strawberry jam. I don't know what do you call it. Oh, you mean jam? Yeah. Strawberry jam. Like strawberry peanut jam. butter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's the, the pe- <laughs> she's the peanut butter between the kids have to bleep me. <laughs> and Vision. Wow, well, calm down. So um, that's that's my prediction. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, okay. My prediction. Mm-hmm. My prediction is that um, this is an out of out of place one. But that maybe Agnes will start controlling Photon, Monica, right. and use her against Wanda mm. as a major end battle. Ooh. Yeah. So that's a prediction. But, I mean, all everything yeah. says more so for Mephisto, yeah. but we've talked about that. So mm. I think out of, out of place could be that Photon is used because her eyes changed purple at the end of that episode yeah. instead of blue. The thing is, blue. if Mephisto does appear yeah with the stalk and also the animals the stork yeah and the rabbit and- yeah if he does appear yeah. i reckon it'll be a cliffhanger episode right at the end oh like yeah into the movie but yeah, then you might see maybe the ring come from yeah dr strange and that's it i can see that yeah. yeah it leading in perfectly to yeah dr movie. strange yeah. yeah yeah i can definitely see that mm. um all around though final thoughts yeah look it's um it's good to see a conclusion coming um yeah look, there was a bit of padding in this but you know every show has that needs it it's not a big deal yeah it's nothing big. i'm just being real nitpicky but uh thankfully it's 30 minutes and not yeah not an 50 hour minutes. yeah yeah you couldn't do it yeah <laughs> but I'm, I'm keen for this show to finish because as i said i'm getting sick of the sitcom style I and mean, i think they've finished that now mm. so yeah it's um look, i think it's an okay show like i'm yeah we'll talk about the podcast Mando was before this Mandalorian. I enjoyed that much better. Yeah, than what this show this is. Shows, I'm I'm opposite, uh, but yeah. that's because of the length of this show. Mm. They've been so consistent of keeping it at short. Yeah, um, a, a short uh, minute span, mm. or whatever I, it is. I think I've got it. This show feels a lot more popcorn than a typical. Yeah, it does than a typical uh, Marvel movie. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel, like, I feel like it feels all very similar. Yeah, uh, I can't feel. Like, nah, yeah, I can't. Does feel it do it for you? Yeah, fair I, enough. I agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, it just yeah. it just has that. It, it's got that, that feel to allure it. of of yeah. this is a yeah a, uh, yeah a, yeah. But I'm just TV watching show. it. It's an okay show. I'm watching it. So when the next movie comes out, I'm up to date. I'm invested in the characters, yeah. and yeah, that's it's gonna 
yeah, carry me forward. Yeah, I, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I've enjoyed it. I think the acting's great. The storyline so far is great. I love every week. I say I love the mystery behind it, and um, so far I also like doing the readings on the on the new characters. Yeah, like that's, finding that's, out more things about new characters. Yeah, Even there's a, a book in this episode mm. called the people are saying it's the dark hold. Mm. And I'm intrigued to see where that goes. You yeah. know, like so. I want to actually read that book. <laughs> yeah. said it before. You want to read the Necronomicon? Yeah. Come on, man! Don't do that. It's a book of the dead. Yeah. <laughs> Start raising hell yeah. and stuff, man! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I'm intrigued with that type of aspect of. Um, I like that about the show, and I think it's bite-sized enough. Mm. If the next two episodes are longer, I don't mind because it's kind of our end. Yeah. But yeah, I, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed watching mm. WandaVision so far. Cool. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and check out Neon Radio Podcast for more spoil-filled, in-depth reviews. Check out Neon Radio Reviews on Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date with what we're doing next. Thank you for watching this week. And Dan, can you take us out? <laughs> My eyes are turning blue. Wait, purple. <laughs>